Welcome back. We are here on Etero looking at the commodities market and the precious metals market. And this is going to be my daily forecast for Friday, November 27, 2020. If you like to support our channel, you're welcome to hit the subscribe button down here in the corner, hit the like button and the bell button in order to see our newest videos. And you're welcome to join us over at Patreon where you get access to our signal service, our full technical analysis, and also use possible to see us live trade and courses. So the link is down below. So this is going to be a very short video as uh, most of the market was closed today. And so it's just going to be a, um, a look at the um, US dollar index at oil and also going to look at the gold market as those are probably the most interesting markets at this point uh, beside from Bitcoin, for example. So we'll start and look at the US dollar index. And as you can see, we tried to rally up towards uh, uh, 92.7 and then fell again all the way down to 91.77. And we are basically at the bottom of this uh, range here and found support there. However, this is a very um, bearish candlestick. So there's not a lot of room to the downside. We are at the RSI at the 60, at 36, and uh, 30 is basically the edge of being oversold. So um, a pullback from here is anticipated, but this is not a very encouraging sign. And also these uh, indicators are also fairly bearish at this point. So if we fall further, then of course that will be positive for for uh, gold, that will be positive for oil. And if we break this level here of 91.71, then we are going much, much lower. Then the next uh, support levels are far down here at uh, 90 and also at 89 and so on. So just keep that in mind. If this breaks, that is a sign that this is going to go significantly lower. And that will, of course, be very bullish for other commodities and precious metals. So let's look at oil. So oil has been rallying all the way from 33.79 all the way up towards 46.19, where we found resistant and then broke down today around 2%. And we uh, tested the lows here at the 44.77. And at this point, I think that we probably are going to go lower. Um, we'll find resistant at these previous highs, and that is at 33.72. So that is uh, an area where most likely buyers will come in and, uh, and push this higher. However, I think that the target here will be 50. That is most likely where we are heading and will go very choppy up towards 50. That is a possibility. However, if these previous highs break, that opens the door to the 50 moving average. Um, in my view, that is the more realistic thing that is going to happen. Uh, I just don't see where the demand is going to come from in order to pressure this up towards the $50 range. But, but I didn't expect this to break, for example, these highs as well, but we did. So anything can happen in this market. Um, if you add enough good news, and in, there has been a lot of good news uh, when it comes to vaccines and so on. So, so um, it's going to be a test. If we break the previous highs here, then we go higher. If we break these previous highs here, then we go all the way down to the 50 moving average around 30.35 at this point. So let's look at gold. And as you can see, we fell quite significantly um, on, on Monday and Tuesday. We uh, stayed above the $1,800 level and also the 200 moving average. And also today, we rallied a little bit, pulled back, but still we are above the 1800 level and above the 200 moving average. And if we can break above these two candlesticks here, then we are going to uh, test 1835 and then probably all the way up towards the 50 moving average that will take some time but as long as we don't break the 1800 and the 200 moving average then this should be just fine we will not break uh, will not go lower from here technical indicators are also turning around so that is a that is an encouraging sign for for bulls uh, however if this breaks 
then it opens the door to 1750. It also opens the door to 1700. So keep that in mind, if this breaks, then we are going to see this going significantly lower. However, at this moment, I think the 50 moving average is where we are going to go to uh, before we go back or break the 50 moving average. So these indicators are looking more encouraging. We are on the edge of being oversold. So that is also a sign that we most likely will not fall significantly further. So hope you find this helpful. You're welcome to support our channel by subscribing. Hit the like button, the bell button, to see your newest videos. And you're welcome to join us over at Patreon. The link is down below. Good luck and thank you very much. Thank you.